Hello, YouTube. It's Tony from TJ Days of Life here, and today I have a cool knife to unbox for you. And this one I bought it from DLT Trading, and I'm using my Tactile Knife Co. Archer to unbox this. Okay, let's get into this knife. Let's cut this open first. Okay. Let's uh, look at what's inside this box. There we go. Okay. Let's put the box aside for now. Let's see what's wrapped inside of this paper. Looks like we got a DLT sticker. Cool. And got some paperwork. Set this aside. Here is the knife box. Uh, it's a typical Technel Knife Co. box. And let's see, the model is Tactile Knife Trooper Cabra. Black anodized aluminum handle. Tumbled magnet cup blade. Cool. Let's see what's inside this box. Okay. Looks like we got the COA here. Uh, the model name is Trupa Cabra. Scales are aluminum. And blade is Magnica blade. 63 to 64 harness. And assembled by AL. And date of birth is April 10th, 2024. See this knife. Okay, first impression this knife is pretty nice for uh, $250. It has aluminum handle and magnet cup blade, deep carry pocket clip. And super lock locking mechanism. And yeah, super cool. This knife actually reminds me of my Protect Malibu because this one has that uh, smooth aluminum handle as well. They feel so similar. Yeah, both have deep carry pocket clip. And this one has a button lock, and this one has the super lock. This one has some stud, this one is a flipper. Their table price are similar too. Yeah. Okay, let's give this knife a flick. Super good flicking. And to disengage this lock, uh, I would push this lock bar back. And yeah, like that. Super fidgety. Locking mechanism, which reminds me of my Demco 8020.5, which has the shark lock. So similar kind of locking mechanism. Just push it back, it will unlock the knife. Super fidgety as well. Same with the 8020. This one is the spear point magnet cut blade. Yep. Okay, uh, let's do a middle finger flick. See how that works. Yeah, pretty good. And the super lock is pretty easy to disengage. You just need to uh, push it back like that and then just swing it shut. Super fidgety, and another knife that 
has less kind of locking mechanism I can think of is Civivi Vision FG and that one is pretty budget friendly and this one is like a step up of that one uh, yeah look at this blade this blade is like a sheep foot blade shape which reminds me of the Chris Reeve in single blade shape super useful for EDC tasks yep yeah just like the shark lock you can use the thumb stud and also you can use the lock bar to swing it out yeah, like that yeah super fidgety okay let's do a quick size comparison between this uh, Chupacabra and uh, my 8020.5 as you can see the Chupacabra is a little bit longer than the 20.5 but still quite uh, comparable and how about compare it to the 8020 as you can see the 8020 is definitely uh, a lot bigger than the Chupacabra both the handle and the blade. Okay, how about compare it to a Para 3? It's quite similar uh, with the Para 3 lens. The Para 3 is just a little bit shorter. And how about compare it to the PM2? You can see the PM2 is uh, a little bit longer than the Chupacabra right be in between the Para 3 and the PM2 which is pretty good for EDC how about compare it to the OG Tactile Navco Rockwall and this one also has the magnetic hot play but uh, lower HRC I believe the newer version has uh, the same higher HRC but you can see it's uh, longer than the rock wall and how about compare it to the archer it's quite similar with the archer's lens uh, just a touch shorter uh, on the blade and also on the handle yeah in between rock wall and archer okay how about compare it to the protect malibu yeah they're quite similar in blade lens as you can see almost the same in blade lens but uh, the Trooper Cabra has just a touch longer in handle there you go cool and let's do a quick weight test on this uh, Trooper Cabra as well bring out my uh, scale see how much this, this knife weights 4.730 let's see how much uh, my 8020.5 weights this one with 4.148 ounce so still lighter than the trooper cabra okay how about uh, the rock wall let's see how much this one weights this one only weighs 2.579 ounce so almost like a an ounce lighter than the Trooper Cabra yep. how about the Archer let's see how much the Archer weights Archer weights 4.430 ounce so it's quite similar to the Trooper Cabra which is 
three zero. Yeah, quite similar, but still lighter than the Chupacabra. So yeah, this knife is quite interesting to me because、uh, I like the Demco、uh, Shark Lock design, and I want to check out the Super Lock that has similar kind of style. Yeah, but but to be honest, I like the Demco Shark Lock more, just because、um, this this locking mechanism when you open it, there is like first making that noise and then open, so it's like a two two step. But、uh, the Shark Lock is just only one thunk make when you open the knife. Which makes it more, I don't know, more clean to me. So li listen to this. It's like two, dot dot, two sound. Compared to the shark lock, just one sound when opening. This one has that two sound. Yeah, they are quite comparable, but、uh, but I like the eighty twenty point five more. But this is still a solid knife for the price. I think two hundred fifty is definitely、uh, not cheap, but、uh, for magnetic blade, aluminum handle, and super lock. I think it's worth it. Yeah, let me know what you think about the price and this knife in the comment section. Yeah, that's it. This is my unboxing and first impression on this Tactile Knife Co. Trooper Cobra, and I hope you like it. Yeah, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have a question. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.